So what we're seeing with, um, especially now it's started in Victoria, is the state government is streamlining the approval processes uh, for renewable energy projects. So it's taking out um, where uh, uh, the approval uh, process before had to go to a planning committee um, and it could be, uh, I guess, submissions could come from the community. And that was seen as government as actually slowing the process down. So they've streamlined that done away with the planning committee, put more power into the hands of the minister and uh, locking people out um, of actually putting a submission unless they take the whole thing to Supreme Courts with us heaps of money. So where that's going is governments are failing to achieve the self-imposed, um, I guess, renewable energy targets and their emission targets. And what we're seeing now and what is being actually promoted by these renewable energy companies and talked about by government is if they don't achieve these targets or they run out of hosts, um, voluntary hosts, they will look at compulsorily acquiring freehold land um, under the existing legislation to site these industrial scale renewable projects. And believe me, it started in Victoria and that will spread to New South Wales and Queensland in a matter of months.